The Russians are battling a fire at ammunition depots in Toropets, which is west of the country. Andriy Kovalenko, head of the Ukrainian government-affiliated Center for Counteracting Disinformation, reported that Grad, S-300, and S-400 missiles, as well as ballistic missiles, Iskander and KN-23 delivered from North Korea, were stored there. In a large depot in the city of Toropets in the Tver region, the Russians stored Grad, S-300, and S-400 missiles, as well as Iskander ballistic missiles, they also began accumulating North Korean KN-23 supplies there, Kovalenko wrote on Telegram after the fire broke out. Russia and North Korea signed a new agreement in June in which North Korean leader Kim Jong-un pledged his full support for Russia's war in Ukraine, and the two countries pledged to provide each other with military assistance in the event of an attack on either country. Pyongyang and Moscow have previously denied that North Korea has provided Russia with weapons for the war in Ukraine, though Western intelligence has confirmed this. Ukraine has recently had success in strikes inside Russia utilizing drones as drone technology improves. Ukraine's drone attack succeeded in wiping off the face of the earth a major Russian weapons depot in the Tver region, Ukrainian intelligence sources said. Sources in Ukraine's SBU security service told the Kiev Independent that, an extremely powerful detonation began at the Russian Defense Ministry's warehouse in Toropets following a drone strike. The depot is believed to have housed Iskander and Tochkayu tactical missile systems, guided aerial bombs and artillery ammunition. According to the official, the depot also housed North Korean KN-23 short-range ballistic missiles. Among the destroyed ammunition were North Korean KN-23 short-range ballistic missiles, another official, in Ukraine's intelligence office, told Associated Press. Recall, Ukraine claimed the strike destroyed Russian military warehouses in Toropets, a town in Russia's Tver region about 240 miles northwest of Moscow and about 300 miles from the border with Ukraine. The attack was carried out by Ukraine's security service, along with Ukraine's intelligence and special operations forces, a Kiev security official told the Associated Press. Это вообще нормально было, мне даже понравилось, даже в ушах зазвенело. Согласен, по науне хуйня, такая погода мне больше нравится. О, смотри, 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 идет сюда. Офигеть, сейчас...
Ну вот это вообще нормально было. Мне даже понравилось. Даже в ушах зазвенело. Согласен, по науне охуеня. Такая погода мне больше нравится.